cancelled, then held online, Art Paris has finally taken place, the first real art show in six months. Nearly 57,000 visitors attended with work from around 900 artists on show. The galleries are really very worried. They've not seen any collectors, they've not sold anything. It's a nerve-wracking time. But I think here we can see the joy and hope of the gallery owners in finally being able to show their artists and to sell their work. Restrictions on international travel have taken their toll too, making it more difficult to sell abroad. The most fragile, the most disadvantaged in this ecosystem are the youngest artists because they need recognition outside just the French art scene. To support these upcoming artists and new galleries, Art Paris created a space called Promises, where 14 galleries were exhibiting paintings and sculptures. Venezuelan Brazilian artist Rosa Maria Undasuki was among them. Much of her work focuses on daily life and the home. I see the bathroom not as an ordinary uh, space, but really uh, as, a, uh, as a particular space when we can uh, relieve ourselves, when we are very lonely, but we are in a safe place. Uh, the situation so we can confront with our emotions. Each version of the picture shows a different mood. The last in the series was initially about fun but ended up about black humour and the lockdown. In the first uh, instance, I wanted to talk about joy, the pleasure of water, but it was in the confinement that I made it. <laughs> so I thought uh, more about the humour the humor, the way of laughing of our tragic uh, uh, <laughs> dra or drama. Although Art Paris is an art fair where the goal is to sell art, it's more exhibition-like than some fairs with a strong editorial feel. I find that we have moved on from art, which is too conceptual or very conceptual, based on ideas, to return to a type of art which is really anchored in the subject, in the image, in the portrayal. One focus of the fair was the French scene and its unique and universal stories, while the other major theme was the Iberian Peninsula from the 50s onwards with visitors including former French Prime Minister Manuel Valls, there to see his father's work. My father was a great Spanish artist who worked mainly in Paris. He created objects of great softness, great light, great meticulousness, with a lot of poetry. It's been an emotional roller coaster for Art Paris this year, like many other major events. Next year, the event takes place in a special pop up version of the Grand Palais while this building is renovated. It's due to reopen in 2024 in time for the Olympic Games. Andrea Bolaitho in Paris for Euronews.